Despite occupying less than 0.1% of the world's ocean surface, coral reefs are hotspots of biodiversity, hosting over 25% of marine species worldwide and providing invaluable services to humankind. These ecosystems are increasingly threatened by rapid anthropogenic climate change and overexploitation of natural resources. To ensure the maintenance of coral reef services for the future, management should not solely focus on conserving current biodiversity, but also permit that the processes that generate new diversity can keep functioning. By combining different disciplines of natural science, the Reef Fish Project aims at understanding ecological and evolutionary processes shaping fish biodiversity in coral reefs especially to distinguish those related to contemporary ecological or microevolutionary processes and those related to macroevolution and the sequence of change in past environments. In September 2016, the Landscape Ecology Group of Professor Pellissier flew to Mayotte Island, an extremely diverse coral reef system. There, a multitude of reef and lagoon structures differing in their hydrological and ecological conditions can be found. Mayotte's reef geomorphology, fish diversity and abundance make it an ideal place to study what drives morphological variations within species across different reef habitats. Seeking for answers, they developed a non-invasive sampling tool. This tool consists of a double camera system with synchronized footage and overlapping image, allowing high-resolution measurements of fish body shapes in the three-dimensional space. This is a particularly interesting tool to enhance the detection of morphological variation within species across different habitats. Through the analysis of specific landmarks, the complete characterization of the full body shape of a multitude of reef fish species is now possible in a non-invasive manner. In order to validate this new tool, they recurred to traditional morphometric sampling techniques, which involve the placements of nets and the complete collection of the fish. Through this innovative sampling methodology, it is possible to investigate trade variations linked to habitat and life history, what would allow new insights into the drivers of the incredible biodiversity of coral reef ecosystems.